Hi, we're First Tech Challenge Team 6007, 89 degrees. We're a fourth year FTC team located in Crystal Lake, but before we were involved in FTC, we participated in First Lego League. Our team has four members and we are all going into our senior year of high school. We are all part of a program called FIRST, which stands for First Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. With more than 2,900 events in 91 countries and a combined total of over 645,000 students, FIRST is a massive global movement with the goal of promoting STEM, along with important life skills such as teamwork and innovation. There are three FIRST programs spanning from ages 4 to 18. These programs are FIRST LEGO League, FIRST Tech Challenge, and FIRST Robotics Competition, which we will discuss in more in-depth momentarily. While these programs look a little different for each age range, they all serve the pur same purpose of inspiring children to learn about STEM while teaching skills they will use throughout life. For the youngest participants, FIRST LEGO League is a program with over 480,000 participants worldwide, which introduces STEM skills or science, technology, engineering, and math to children ages 4 through 14 through exciting hands-on learning. Participants gain real-world problem-solving experiences through a global robotics program. Students engage in hands-on STEM activities, building confidence, growing knowledge, and developing habits of learning. First LEGO League has three divisions which inspire youth to experiment and grow their critical thinking, coding, and design skills through hands-on STEM learning and robotics. First LEGO League Discover is FIRST's newest program, designed for children aged 4 through 6. First LEGO League Discover ignites children's curiosity and builds their habits of learning with hands-on activities using LEGO Duplo Bricks. In FIRST LEGO League Explorer, teams of up to 6 students ages 6 to 10 learn the fundamentals of engineering as they explore real-world problems, learn to design and code, and create unique solutions using LEGO and the LEGO education we do. First LEGO League Challenge introduces friendly competition where teams of up to 10 students ages 9 through 14 engage in research, problem solving, coding, and engineering while building and programming a LEGO robot that accomplishes missions of a robot game. Teams also participate in a research project to identify and solve a relevant real world problem. First Robotics Competition is often called the ultimate sport for the mind, with over 97,000 participants combining sport with the challenges of science and technology. Teams of high school age students work under limited time to design, build, and program industrial-sized robots to play in a challenge against like-minded competitors, learning valuable engineering skills. In First Tech Challenge, teams of up to 15 students, ages 12 to 18, design, build, program, and operate robots to compete in a head-to-head -head challenge. Students develop STEM skills and practice engineering principles while learning the value of hard work, innovation, and working as a team. As a FIRST Tech Challenge team, we would like to share our experience from last year's season to give you a better idea of what FTC is like. Our season began in September, where the game's challenge Skystone was released and where we began designing our robot. Later, we had three smaller competitions, or league meets, that took place in November, December, and January. In February, we had our league championship, from which we advanced to the Illinois State Competition later in February, where we qualified for the World Championship. At every competition, we played at least five matches, so by the end of the season, we had played a lot of robot matches. To show you one of those matches, we must first explain the basics of the game. In every match, there are two alliances, comprised of two teams each, competing to obtain the highest score. The match begins with a 30-second autonomous period, where the robots must perform tasks to earn points using pre-programmed instructions. After the autonomous period, the match goes into the two-minute driver-controlled teleop period, where the robots are controlled by players to earn points. In this match, Team 6007 is in the upper left, their alliance partner 8907 is in the lower left, Team 14615 is in the lower right, and their partner, Team 6199, is in the top right. In this game, one-way robots score points is grabbing yellow blocks from a line and placing them on the foundation at the back of the field. Blocks with black stickers on them give teams more points than the other blocks. The foundation these blocks are placed on can also be moved into taped-off triangles for points. Finally, robots can score points by parking under the bridge in the middle of the field at the end of the autonomous period. The robots are now moving on to the teleop period, where drivers can control the robots. During this time, robots can score points in a few ways. 
One way is by delivering yellow blocks underneath the outer bridges. A robot must make it fully across the tape underneath their team's bridge to score points. Robots can also place the yellow blocks onto their team's foundation for, for points and stack them. The higher these blocks are stacked on top of one another, the more points a team earns at the end of the game. If a team runs out of blocks on the field, they can receive blocks from a human player in taped off squares at the front of the field. Now the robots have moved on to endgame. During this time, they can still earn points by bringing blocks underneath their bridge and stacking them, but they also have a few more options for scoring points. At this point, robots can move a custom-made capstone piece from either their team's taped-off box or a part of themselves to the top of their yellow block towers. At the end of the game, the robots can also move their foundation away from the taped-off triangles, being careful not to let any blocks fall. Finally, robots can park in the taped off triangle by the end of the game. However, before you can participate in a competition, you need to build a robot. Our team uses an eight-step process in order to design each part of a robot. This process allows us to revise each part over time to be as effective as possible. Our first step is to identify the problem we want to solve. For example, part of last year's game challenge was to move large platforms called foundations on which teams would build towers. So the problem we had to solve was how to move the foundations. The second step is to determine the specific criteria we want our solution to have. For this problem, we wanted to be able to move the foundation by pulling it, since the location of the foundation on the field makes it difficult to push. We also wanted to be able to move it without disturbing the tower. From there, we brainstorm all the ways we can solve the problem. For this one, we came up with different designs for a hook that could pull on the edge of the foundation. Then, we rank the solutions we've come up with based on that criteria that we came up with earlier, and pick an idea to pursue from what scored well. We ended up with this hook, which is an L-shape with an extra bar to prevent it from snapping when pulling on the foundation. Our fifth step is to prototype the solution, usually by making it out of cardboard or some other cheap material. This allows us to see any issues we might have overlooked earlier. From there, we design the part in CAD so we can make sure the part fits well with the rest of the robot. Making a model in CAD also allows us to upload our design to a 3D printer or CNC machine so we can produce it out of wood or plastic. We decided to 3D print this hook. That brings us to our seventh step, build. This involves making any custom parts and assembling any other pieces that we need for it to actually work on our robot, like the axle the hook is attached to and clamps to keep it in place. Then we test it. If it doesn't work as well as we hoped, we go back to an earlier step in the process and rework it until we have something we're happy with. If this sounds interesting to you, you should get involved with FIRST. Next year's challenge is FIRST Game Changers, powered by Star Wars Force for Change. FLL Discover and Explore's theme is Playmakers, FLL Challenge's theme is Replay, FTC's theme is Ultimate Goal, and FRC's theme is Infinite Recharge. Discover the athlete inside of you and change the world for the better. While this season may look slightly different than other seasons due to COVID-19, First is working hard to make sure that this year's competition still happens. Plans regarding the format of this year's season are updated at firstinspires.org slash COVID-19. If you're curious about joining or starting a team, visit clrobotics.org slash get started. If you'd like to volunteer at a first event, visit firstinspires.org slash ways to help slash volunteer. For more information, send an email to contact at firstillinoisrobotics.org. All links are in the description below. We'd love for you to get involved.